Welcome to part 9 of the Temple of Time tutorial. Let's pick up right where we left off. Part 9. Can you believe it? This is my longest running tutorial series thus far, I think. I'm pretty sure with 9 parts we have now eclipsed the Hippodrome, which is quite an achievement. But I always knew that a medieval cathedral was going to take the cake one day. I, I shudder to think how many parts Bedrock Cathedral will have, but we're working on the Temple of Time today, so let's just start here and take a look at the next part. So, as you can see here, just some simple details right there for continuing uh, the spire up on top of the roof. It'll come to its uh, pointy conclusion. And for today, we want to, of course, come over here. Uh, so, uh, last time we... oh. Well, we have some more of these pesky filler blocks underneath here. Um, underneath the cobblestone walls, just replace that with, I think, uh, I think some more cobblestone would look good for that. But we do have a central block of copper here. And we'll slowly take a look at the rest of the sequence. Mostly a lot of cobblestone walls and uh, some decorative finials on the side here, along with what's going to be our last set of flying buttresses. Or the lantern at the top that we are just starting to build here this octagonal section that's going to be the lantern let's take a look though at the exterior details before we move on to that now the good news about this is i'm pretty sure that from this point on upwards right here uh, this entire sequence is going to be uh, symmetrical just about. For, for the lantern, anyway, as soon as we finish these uh, side details here. And let's go back down. And, of course, here we have the interface with the uh, ridge line of the roof. And a whole bunch more filler blocks. Which, I think, we should probably make those, uh, what? Probably stone bricks. Right there. Well, I don't know. We could go for some more tough. Oops. I broke that one. That wall block there. Yeah, I think I would go for some tough blocks here. And uh, stone brick back over here. And I think stone brick for these and then tough... For these here. I'm not going to place all of them, just uh, enough for you to see the sequence. So once you have that, you want to repeat that pattern till we get all the way down here where we have to widen it out a little bit. So we have kind of a jumble of uh, walls and blocks over here. And I think for the blocks sticking out here, we can you can replace those with any combination of uh, cobble or tuff for those two blocks you want there. Got a couple of upside down stairs here. And then on the back as well. That's just following the pattern of the roof going up here. So let me just give you a top down view of that sequence. And we will slide back towards the front. All right, now from here, let's start here and take a look at the interior. So you can use the last phase you placed down with the lapis and the calcite as a guide for this one. You can see what we're doing is we're making an octagonal section. right here and uh, this is uh, the highest point we can get to in the cathedral here because we have just one trap door right there which gives us access to to come up here and walk around so just to help you get the numbering right i'll place down some 
some red carpet here so you can get the outline of it for half of that And I think that's enough to move on to the next phase. So we have less and less to build as we get higher, so the phases should get uh, quicker. So just a couple of blocks here for uh, that little detail. And of course, uh, re remember, we're doing uh, that tower back there. Its roof is exactly the same, at the same level as this one right here is. All right, back here at the front, a couple more blocks of copper. And a couple of walls at uh, every other block sticking on top of those walls, just for some, you know, some pointy decoration. And then we want to extend the base here of our buttresses up, like so. And then some more walls and pointy decorations. Every other block. Then we get back here. And turning the corner. And then here we have some upside down cobblestone stairs. And then on top of all the blocks of tuff that we placed down, right there, you want to go and put a cobblestone wall on top of those. And then for this sequence here, we want to have some upside down cobblestone stairs and then stone brick stairs. It's to match that there. And then that's a module, so we just, of course, go down the building, continue placing the, the blocks, the stairs, and the walls until we get back down here, where we make it a little bit wider. And then we have just the stone bricks on top of those, like you see done here. Yep. Not too bad. All right, let's return to the front. Let's uh, let's go back here and start right here. We'll take a look at this from the inside. So you can see we've got our glass windows have returned. Just like so. We've got some stone bricks on the exterior, though. Just a couple of blocks. This is supposed to be a thin and spidery section. And, oh, we have some blocks down here that, okay, these... You're going to want to come back and replace this with some combination of tough and cobble, I think. Yeah. Remember, we shouldn't have any of those blocks be visible in the build. All right, so once you do one quarter of this, all the other three quadrants are going to be exactly the same. Just like so. And we will go on to the next phase. All right, so a little bit of detail here for our tower. Take a look at that from the top down. And we do have some upside down stone brick stairs on all the four sides. Oh, and some more blocks sticking out. Just, uh, just replace all these four blocks here with stone bricks. Yeah. And do that one back there the same. Come back here to the front. Another block of copper right there. And then finishing off these here with uh, some more copper on the sides. Copper and dark prismarine. And here is the detailing on the side for the decorative uh, finials and the base of the buttress tower. Same detailing for these with the copper. And then back here for this buttress. Now this one back here, it's um it ended up being just a little bit smaller than the one out front, just because of the way the buttresses interfaced with the building. It had to be uh, it had to be squished one block farther in that way to to make an account for the fact that it was it's really an odd number. Um, I'm sorry, it's really an even number, and we're putting an odd number on top of it. So that's the block that we had to squish in to make everything come back into center. 
All right, so we are done with all of these here. The only thing we're doing is putting two blocks of cut copper on top of all of those, all the way down here. And then back at the end, we have more complicated decoration for all of this back here. To, let's see, we've got to fill in some of these blocks. Go ahead and do that. Start over. Just like so. A lot of encrusted detail on the tops of these. It's just how gothic goes. I, in general, don't do a lot of encrusted detail. Uh, but in gothic, when you're, do, when you're getting near the top of something, it's, it's warranted. That, that's really when you have to do it. It makes, makes the most sense. All right. Let's go back and take a look at the inside now of the lantern tower. So as you can see, we're just reversing the glass blocks like we have been doing. We're extending the calcite up and we're extending the walls up here with, uh, with two blocks here and there. Just like so. See, this is why we have to have more flying buttresses on the outside when we get higher. Uh, because you can see here, we just have this thin calcite and a lot of glass. And uh, there's not a whole lot of structure in that, so. We have to steady the, the uh, thing so it doesn't collapse. Uh, so up here, we've got just a couple of stairs and a bit of wood. And that's all there is to that. Uh, back over here, we have finished this. And we need just a couple of blocks of cut copper right there. And then just some small detailing right here. Just, uh, was that, uh, seven blocks of detail. Right there. More cut copper on these two. And then we have the same detailing on this one back here. So from this point onwards, everything should be, uh, symmetrical. Uh, so back here, uh, because we had, um, because these were even numbers, I couldn't fit in the other kind of decorative finial, so I went for a rounded one at the top, a little roundel. And to do that, of course, we just have to have two blocks off to the side. And if you want to, to go ahead and finish these, if, if my memory is correct, you can go ahead and put the cut copper that way. All the way down the building, and let's take a look at the... Uh, end cap down here on the top of our, our roof spire. Just like so. Just a bunch of stone bricks and a little bit of wood up there for some support. And that's all there is to that. So for the interior, we're doing the same thing. We're extending the glass, reversing the positions of the blocks and the vault panes and building the calcite up just like so. I don't think I really need to explain that anymore. You, you can see what we're doing. So I'll leave you to, to get on with that. Let's go on to the next phase. Really easy phase. It's got to be one of the easiest, easiest things we've done in the entire cathedral. Uh, nine blocks of um, cobblestone and tough with a tree trunk in the middle. Uh, back over here, of course, we got cut copper on top of all the cut copper we put over here for the top uh, the top pointy uh, finials on top of those, and we're just extending the base of the uh, flying buttresses on the four corners up like so. And uh, I already told you about that on the last phase, so let's go back here where we have some upside down stairs. Right there. And on the top of it, we have a mix of cobblestone and tuff, and a little wood there in the center. All right. Uh, and in here for the octagonal lantern, just do the same thing I've been talking about. Just uh, reverse the positions of the glass and extend up the calcite 
and with a mix of cobblestone and tuff on the outside because you can see we're still doing the banding thing with that so just mix that together however you want to all right next phase making pretty good progress now then we're getting high up and oh, oh uh eight blocks of stone bricks here with a tree trunk in the middle and then uh what is that eight cobblestone walls just on the corners there sticking out like so all right here we're uh, finishing off i believe these decorative finials here all of these with one block of cut copper there in the middle for all uh what is it for all six of those on the front tower and over here we have uh let's just make, make all that stone brick i guess and here we have some upside down stone brick stairs right there uh, but at the back here we don't and you want to do all four of those exactly exactly the same just like so that one there that one there and that one there all right so uh, you are now finished uh, putting on the the ridge line of the roof this entire section from the base to the top that we've been building for nine videos is uh, is finally done at that level there we just have the back towers and uh, this little back uh, finial here and we'll finish all that today and we'll, then we'll continue on with uh, the lantern I don't think we'll finish the lantern today that's, that's probably going to be an unprecedented part 10 but you know I've always threatened to do a 10 part tutorial series so looks like we're going to be uh, reaching that goal with this uh, so here we have the stone brick stairs just like so and a bit of filler blocks and some wood there on the interior. All right, uh, for for the uh, the lantern, just reverse the positions of the glass and extend up the stone bricks and the calcite. We're going to be doing that for quite a few phases, but I just wanted to make sure. Uh, so here at the top of this, we have a bit, uh, we have some four cobblestone walls, then four blocks of cobblestone or tuff, and a tree trunk in the middle. All right, uh, over here, we uh, we may as well start with the buttress. So you can see we've got a couple of blocks of diorite now, which means this is the base of another buttress. Just like so. It just sits right on top of those there. And then you want to do the other buttresses exactly the same. And uh, let me see, the, the lantern is still going with the same pattern of the glass and the calcite and everything. So I'll leave you to extend that up. Let's go down here and take a look at uh, this here. So we've got some wood in the middle and then a mix, an octagonal section of cobblestone and tuff. And that's all there is to that one. All right, over here we want to have uh, four stone bricks, a uh, four cobblestone walls, and a tree trunk in the middle. And then over here for the buttress, we're extending up everything we just did, uh, but with stone bricks now instead. I think on the front here we have uh, stone brick stairs. Oh, which means we need to make um, we need to make all that no, that there are stone bricks. All right, do the other three exactly the same and continue extending up the octagonal lantern here in the middle. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, so we have a bunch of filler blocks where they shouldn't be. Let me just fix that. And there we are. So we have uh, on top of the cobblestone and the tuff, we have a bit of wood, a bunch of stone bricks, and then on the outside of those, just ring around it with cobblestone walls. All right, uh, next phase, four blocks of cut copper and a tree trunk. And then here is the detail for the next level of the buttresses. And let's see, uh, continue extending up the octagonal lantern. 
reversing the positions of the glass as you go. And uh, back here, uh, some simple detailing with some cut copper for this at the back with some tree trunks and everything, like so. All right, making good time today. Well, it seems that way. Anyway, uh, so same, same detailing right there for that again. Uh, but different detailing over here for the buttresses. Uh, in fact, let me get some more exposed blocks there. Let me just fix that. So here it is from the interior. You can see we have a block leaning out, which is, uh, of course, going to be our buttress, which is going to be going up this way and leaning over to touch the top of the lantern. So we're going to have eight buttresses in total here at the top for uh, that one to, uh, to keep it standing. And on the outside of this, we want to have some decorative uh, cobblestone walls, five of those right there. Do all of these, of course, the same. Uh, and extend the lantern up according to the same pattern we've been doing. Uh, back here, we have... Um, we have to, to fix some blocks. Before we look at it, there we go. So there that phase is here. You can see we've got eight blocks of cut copper, four cobblestone walls, uh, four planks, one tree trunk, and uh, however many stone bricks that is, and four stairs in between those. Alrighty, next phase here, same deal, straight up. The four blocks of copper. And then back over here, here is the detailing for the buttresses. And uh, let's see, keep extending the lantern up, just like so, in a diagonal section. And then back here, we want to have, um, well, we want to have these, these blocks here fixed first. Oops. Before we take a look at it, there we go. So we've got uh, more cut copper, and this is mostly just the, the last phase being extended up, but just a little bit more simplified. Uh, righty, next phase, keep extending that up, another four blocks of cut copper. And then over here, we have to fix that. And then on the exterior, we have another repeat of these cobblestone walls. And then we have a bit of uh, fully oxidized copper here, and then a stone brick, and then a diorite block in diagonal. Just like so. And of course, you want to do the others the same. And uh, there's finally something different to do here in the lantern. We have uh, our old friend, the tracery is making its, uh, I believe, its final appearance in the building. Aren't you glad? Uh, so we're up here. We have just a couple of blocks of calcite in place of the full glass blocks. Is the only real difference. Just like so. Uh, and from top down. And then let's go back here and take a look at uh, this right here. So we've got four cobblestone walls, four blocks of cut copper, uh, eight stone bricks, some filler blocks, and some wood. All right, next phase. Uh, extend this up for another block. Like so. It's our very pointy conclusion, so we're about to finish that. Uh, over here, let's take a look at, I think, uh, I think the buttress first. Take a look at it from the inside. So you can see we have them just very slightly uh, leaning outwards that way. way. 
same deal with the other three. And then back in here, you can see every other block, we've got uh, glass and calcite. All right, let's go to the back now. Uh, so we have uh, four cobblestone walls and a mix of, what is that going to be, 12 blocks of cobblestone or tough, some filler blocks and some wood. Uh, righty, next phase, one block of cut copper right there. And uh, there's going to be a few more uh, just stacked on top of that. I forget how many, but we're almost done with that. Uh, so here we now have uh, our buttresses are connecting to our lantern. So now that they are, we're going to be starting going to be starting here for the rest of the tutorial on the lantern. We're going to take a look at that as a unit now since it's connected. Uh, we do have some more of these exposed filler blocks that we shouldn't. Right there, and some more um, cobblestone walls on, on the front of that. Right there, and of course the other the other four quadrants are exactly the same. From this point onwards, uh, every, every um, if we take this top thing and divide it into four quadrants, uh, one quadrant is going to be all you need to see because the other three are just going to be 90 degree rotated versions of that. All the way up the rest of the building. Uh, so back here, let's take a look at this thing. Uh, we've got... Um, more exposed blocks. Let's just replace all the filler blocks here with stone bricks. And then we have a, some upside down stairs. Right there. And then some right side upstairs. Right there. And then a bit of wood in the middle. And some optional torches for lighting. Uh, next phase, another block of cut copper on top of that there. And then we'll start here at the lantern. The top of our tower. So we've got a, a block of calcite there and then a bit of glass. And then all the usual materials. In their various placements. Uh, over here on top of this we now have some decorative finials forming of uh, cut copper blocks. A uh, waxed cut copper. It's like so, and uh, that's looking at a quarter of it, so that's the essentials, so we can move on. Uh, back here, uh, four stone brick stairs, four copper blocks, four planks, and one tree trunk. Right there. Uh, righty, next phase, another cut copper block right there. Total of three there, and now uh, also start here at the lantern. Every other block, uh, calcite, right there across the front. And then the detailing right here for our buttresses. More cut copper uh, there. And the same detailing here for our windows. All right, let's go back down to the end here. And a uh, really easy phase down here. Eight blocks of cut copper and a tree trunk. No more explanation required for that. Uh, another block of cut copper there for the next phase of that, four in total. Over here for the lantern, a bit of glass. In the middle, and of course, a couple of blocks of calcite for our old friend, the tracery. And then four more blocks of cut copper right there.
Just like so. Uh, and then on the inside, we do have some calcite leaning inwards. And this is going to form uh, what's going to be the bottom of our uh, last, last section of rib vaulting that we're going to have to do. Uh, back here at the back easy phase, just, just repeat the, uh, the previous phase. Eight blocks of cut copper and a tree trunk. Uh, alrighty, next phase here. I think, I think there's another block here, and that's going to be what? Two, three, four, five blocks in total of cut copper right there. And uh, the next level of the, the lantern here, a bit of glass, a bit of calcite, the usual stuff. Uh, only one block of cut copper here. And just stack up our calcite. Right there for the ribs. And on the back here, another easy phase, another eight blocks of copper and a tree trunk. All right, uh, next phase here, put a cobblestone wall now on top of uh, that, that decoration there. I forget how many more there is on top of that. Maybe two. We'll have to see. Uh, here we are detailing for the lantern again, though. And, of course, we're forming our, our, our very last ceiling in the Temple of Time because the, the lapis blocks have appeared. So you know we're at a ceiling level. And the gold ore has also reappeared as well. And uh, two blocks of uh, cut copper right there. For the buttresses, and by the way, a couple of phases ago, we did finish the buttresses, so this is a good time to stop and take a look at those. You can see we have these buttresses here, attaching the very thin sections of wall here into those buttresses, which are, of course, attached to a thicker section out here to hold the entire thing up. All right, let's take a look at the interior now. I think that's uh, pretty explanatory. And let's go to the back here where you've got another eight blocks of cut copper and a tree trunk. I think that's the last phase of that, though. Uh, for the next phase, we want to have a um, another cobblestone wall on top of those. And then we'll start here. Uh, where we put this last block of calcite right there, and uh, that is going to be uh, the last window that we have to build on the Temple of Time. All that, all that's done. Uh, I know it's taken nine parts, uh, but we, but we have finally we are now able to dispense with our old friend the window tracery. All of that is now completely done. So, but we do have to finish the, the decorative sections of the, the windows, or rather the window frames, and of course the roof on top of that. Uh, two more blocks of cut copper on top of the uh, buttress towers. And uh, the, this big jumble of blocks here for this, the, uh, the next phase. As you can see, we're hanging some diorite, uh, diorite. We're hanging some calcite over right here along with the lapis for our last section of rib vaulting that we need to do. Uh, all right, back, oh, a little too low. Uh, back here, four blocks of cut copper and a tree trunk. Uh, 
All right, next phase here. I think that's going to be three cobblestone walls right there. And let's take a look at the next section of the well and one block of cut copper right, right there. And I'm pretty sure that is going to be that for these. So these these big heavy decorative finials we have sitting on top of our buttress towers to keep them from being pushed off the building are done. So now we're only focusing on uh, what? The the roof section here and, uh, and that little thing at the back. Which we're almost done with those two. Now let's take a look at this from the outside. We're going to take a look at this for the rest of this series. We're going to take a look at one quarter of this only. Since it now has four-way symmetry. There are some air blocks here, though, as you can see. If you want to, you can fill this in with cobble or something. Uh, it probably should have been filled in like that, but it's, just, it's a construction gap from when I was building it. Let's take the view from below. And then a bird's eye from above. All right, and uh, back here we've got another four blocks of cut copper and a tree trunk. And then uh, the next phase here is that... Um, are we up to... I never can count walls very accurately. Okay, four blocks, so we have another another um, stone brick, uh, no, cobblestone wall on top of that. And we'll continue on here. Oh, there's there's quite a lot of air gap in here, actually. Oh, okay, I remember this. I think that's actually supposed to be there. Because you remember the rib vaulting is just designed to hold itself up. So there's going to be some air gap inside this building and inside the roof. So we'll take a look at the exterior sequence. First. Pretty simple. And we'll take a look at the interior one now, I think. From the top down is probably the best view for this. And then from the bottom on the interior. And just a little bit closer. All right, here at the back, four more blocks of cut copper and a tree trunk. And then the next phase here. Did I go to five blocks on this? One, one, two, three, four, yeah. Another cobblestone wall right there. And then here the detailing for the lantern at the top, the, uh, the very top of our temple. So here, let's just take a look at the exterior detailing first. Just like so. And then let's take a look at this from the top down, I think. And then from the inside. And then a little closer. And then a little closer here as well. All right, back here again, looks like four more blocks of cut copper in our tree trunk. Uh, and then over here, you can uh, throw down a torch, or if you want to, I don't have any, but if you want to throw down perhaps a lightning rod, a copper lightning rod would look really nice. On top of on top of that there, maybe maybe two rods, maybe two or three. Not just, at least one or two rods, I think, would look, would look pretty good. On top of there, actually, I think I would go to three rods. Well, I, I will leave it up to you. We just want to make it as pointy as we can. All the way up there, and uh, and that will be the end of that. So at this point here, from all the way at the ground, we've been building this tower this whole time. 
so uh, and this is going to be the last block of it up here and both the, and of course that should match the the tower we have integrated to the building at the back and you should have all four of those towers be complete so now we're only focusing on the top of the main tower and uh, that that decorative finial back there so let's start looking on the exterior here And then the interior here, pretty simple. We're just slabbing the, the entire thing over now with a bit of calcite there at the top, leaving just one block there. Let's just uh, duck down in there. Should look something like this. Very kaleidoscopic, quite pleasing. And I think that's all there is to it. Uh, so back here, four more blocks of cut copper and a tree trunk. And then going on to the next phase on that, just go ahead and put a block of cut copper on top of that. And I forget, that's going to go up for quite a ways. Several blocks of cut copper and then another one of these. I think for the rest of this, I'm going to ignore this until I know it's finished. And then we'll come back there and build the whole thing so we can, so we can focus on this thing here at the front. Uh, so we'll put a pause on that. So here we are detailing here at the front. Got some more upside down stairs here. And uh, a couple more blocks that shouldn't um, shouldn't be poking out there. That's going to be a problem over over there too. And just like so. And then for the central section, just a very simple slab of calcite and, uh, and one block of glowstone right there at the top. And uh, that's the interior of the Temple of Time, all the decorated parts of the interior complete. All right, next phase. We're raising the roof on the building now, so we've got uh, the cut copper and the prismarine there, and then everything else here is stone bricks. And then behind this, you can see we've got another lattice work of roof beams. Back there behind that, yes, that's right, our old friend the roof beam is not quite done. We have another section to lay out here, and I think that's, uh, I think you can see we've got just a 3x3 three three section there in the middle of those. So I'll let you build that, and we will go on to the next phase. Uh, so here for the exterior detailing, we've got uh, a mix of cut copper and cobblestone, and uh, stone brick stairs right side up, just like so. And on the interior, you want to continue your beams up for a second level. It's very important to have this 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 raft be extremely strong so it doesn't bear down on the uh, the ceiling down there. That's got to be transferred out to the walls, so we have to make it extra thick for that reason. Uh, so back here at detailing, now we're working on the roof. You see all, all of this uh, green cut copper? Uh, that's going to be the roof sections now, so we will continue on with that. Got a couple blocks of waxed copper there and some stone bricks here at the front, and behind that you can see we've got some uh, tree trunks going vertical now. Just like so, every block but here in the middle, not one there. And uh, the walls on this were entirely too thin for me to find a way to have attic access up here for you. So this is going to be an inaccessible spot in the cathedral. Uh, if you want to try and figure out for yourself a way how to get a ladder up into this, you can. Uh, uh, but, but I stopped down there with that trap door. All right, next phase. And fix that. Before we take a look at it. 
fix those expo exposed blocks there. Uh, so we've got the usual materials, copper, prismarine, wood, cobblestone, and uh, three cobblestone walls right there. Just like so. And uh, now behind the, the copper and the prismarine is where we're going to be putting, at every other level, we're going to be putting our wood planks. Right there as uh, the lattice work for the roof. All right, uh, we're making pretty good time today. I don't think it's possible. If I can keep talking for long enough, we might actually finish today. Uh, that'd be pretty good. I'd kind of like to finish this series. Um, nine parts, goodness. Uh, anyway, so back here, bucket cut copper. And behind that, the detailing for the roof. Like so, and extend up on the interior all of the tree trunks. All right, uh, next phase, we've got some upside down stairs appearing here. And then everything else is, is extending up. Uh, our roof is now leaning inwards. It has, a, it has a very pointy slope on the top of it. So it's going to go up for quite a ways. Behind that, you can see we have the lattice work of uh, wood beams now going horizontal. Just like so. It's a lot of tree trunks. Hope you have a tree farm. Well, probably should have said that in the first video. Uh, anyway, uh, next phase here, detailing for the roof. We'll look at the exterior, and then we'll pan around on the interior. Although you can kind of see already what the interior is doing. It's not, not anything special. Uh, next phase. More roof. Uh, another level where we're doing the oak um, planks. So many blocks in Minecraft. I just... Sometimes, yeah, I forget the name. And the interior detailing. Hmm. Didn't we just take a... No, okay. Uh, so, looks like that, uh, thing at the back appears to still be going up. So let's take the next level here of the roof, uh, where we need to finish this off. Those shouldn't be filler blocks, those should be stone bricks. We'll come back here. And we've got another level where we're doing the detailing now of the, uh, cobblestone walls. Just like so, and on the inside here, extend up all the tree trunks. All right, so next level here. Uh, more, uh, more copper, prismarine, cobblestone tough, and tree trunks. And these patterns here, so it's a simpler phase from what we've been doing. And this, of course, another level where we're having them horizontal. Like every three blocks, you can see we're doing, on the fourth block, we're doing a horizontal beams up here for that. Uh, but there is quite a lot of space up here still. This would be, this would be a nice spot for a hidden base if uh, you wanted to, to do that. You would have easy access for your elytra up here, uh, unless it breaks. Of course, then there's, then there's no access anywhere. Uh, back here, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So this is finished. So this went up for a total of one, two, three, four, five blocks of copper, and then one, two, three, four, five blocks of cobblestone walls. And then I put a torch on this, but like I said, for for these towers over here, you can put perhaps another three blocks of um, lightning rods. 
on top of that if you wish. And that's going to be the back finished, the entire back that we've been building all the way since the first part of the foundation, all the way from the, the huge foundation at the bottom has just has narrowed all the way down to a single lightning rod right at the, air at the top. I do highly, highly encourage if you have them to use the lightning rods. Uh, because if it ever rains, you know, if it, if it strikes your cathedral, you know, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Because you do want to keep it, you know, you want to keep it away from this wood, especially if you have fire tick on. Well, we don't want your cathedral to end up like Notre Dame. Now, even though that wasn't lightning damage. But anyway, you, you get the idea. Uh, so here, de more detailing for the roof. Just like so. And then back here for the oak tree trunks. Wait, did I already go over that? I feel like I did. I think I did. Oh, so many phases. I'm losing track. Uh, so we've got some upside down stone brick stairs here. So be mindful of that. And here's the pattern back here for uh, the prismarine and the copper. And the tree trunks behind that. Uh, so we are now only working on the, the pointy roof. And we're making good time, and I can still talk, so I think we are going to finish this series today. Uh, we'll have to have, a, it's probably going to be Bedrock Cathedral. That'll be the 10-part series. Um, so here we have, although this is a new record of nine. Uh, so here we have the detailing for the roof. Just like so, and the, the oak uh, planks behind that. And extend up the tree trunks. Although the interior detailing of this part isn't really strictly necessary, you could skip that if you wanted to. Uh, so here, detailing for the exterior of our roof. And then the interior with the tree trunks. Next phase, we've got uh, more cobblestone walls here at this phase again. We've done enough of this. You can see that that's a repeating pattern right here. It's like, like a little module. Every time we go up, we're shifting it back and sometimes over for that. So that's kind of a, re a repeating thing. But of course, the roof is narrowing as we get higher and higher. And the tree trunks on the inside. All right, next phase. Just like so. And the interior tree trunks. All right, next phase here, upside down stair sequence. Right there, and that's all there is to it. Next phase. Stone bricks and only cut copper and some tree trunks. A couple of stairs. That's all there is to this one. Next phase.
All right, next phase after that one. Oh. Just make all these filler blocks be stone bricks. There we go, and cobblestone walls again, and then just an ever-decreasing amount of cut copper for the roof, and then planks behind that. Like so, uh, next phase again. Next one after that, upside down stone brick stairs on this one. And then a big octagon of cut copper and planks behind that. All right, next phase. Uh, stone brick stairs, cobblestone and tough, and uh, copper, planks, and tree trunks. All right, next phase after that. More stone, copper, and wood. Just like so. Next phase after that, we've got the cobblestone walls again. Just like so. And then a bit of wood in the middle. All right, next phase again. Stone bricks, copper, and a bit of wood. Next phase, upside down, stone brick stair level, and then copper and wood. All right, next phase, uh, stone bricks, stone brick stairs, copper and wood again. Next phase, stone, copper, and wood, of course. Next phase after that, I'm gonna be glad when we get past the filler block error. Uh, so here we are with uh, that here, cobblestone walls on the fronts of those. And just a very few blocks of cut copper left. And then some tree trunks in the middle and uh, that's all there is to it. So back here again, stone, copper, and wood. Like so. Next phase after this, upside down stone brick stairs here and then the rest of it's stone brick copper and wood all right we're in the home stretch now we've got uh, um, stone copper and wood again in this configuration like so and then we'll move on to the next phase. Uh, all stone bricks with a bit of wood right there in this pattern here. 
Uh, next phase, we've got a mix of stone with um, cobble walls on the exterior here. And then in the middle of that, a uh, couple more blocks of wood. All right, uh, next phase, uh, all stone bricks again and some wood. Next phase after that, we've got some upside down stone brick stairs here. And then behind that, we've got the mix of cobble and tuff and a couple of blocks of wood. Uh, next phase after that, we've got some stone bricks, stone brick stairs, and a little bit of wood there in the middle. Next phase after that, uh, cobblestone and tuff, and some stone bricks there. Or, actually, I meant um, tree trunks. And, oh boy. All of these, all these filler blocks, change that out to stone bricks. I'll just do it here. And then you can see on the front of these, you want to just be, do a, a ring around of cobblestone walls. And then a bit of wood. Alright, next phase. Um, cobblestone, tough, and uh, waxed, cut copper, and a bit of wood. Uh, next phase after that, almost the same, except for these corners here that we want to have these stone bricks. There we go. And uh, a couple of cobblestone walls in the corner. Yeah, uh, we're so close. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of power through to the end here. All right, replace all that and then extend all that up there, and that's that phase. Uh, here for this one, four blocks of copper, uh, four blocks of cobblestone walls, and then all the rest of that. All right, here four cobblestone walls and uh, 12 blocks of cobblestone and or tough. And some wood in the middle. After that, uh, uh, what? Stone brick stairs, some upside down, some right side up. And um, just replace all this with stone bricks. Uh, next phase, stone brick stairs and cut copper, a little bit of wood. Next phase again. Um, oh. Uh, so eight blocks of cut copper and a tree trunk. And then again, another eight blocks of copper and a tree trunk. And then eight blocks of copper and a tree trunk. And then, you know, the drill. Let's just fly straight past these. And we'll just count up however many we need to go. All right. So for that sequence, put so what? One, two, three, four, five. Right there. And then four blocks of copper on a tree trunk. And this count pass is going to be one, two, three. Four, that probably stops at five. Five. And then our, our penultimate phase, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five blocks of that. And then let's go on to our final phase here. And then go up another one, one, two, three, four, five blocks of cut copper. And then another, what's that going to be? Another five blocks of um, um, cobblestone walls, and then perhaps another 
another three lightning rods, or perhaps perhaps as many as five lightning rods stacked up here, at, at least three. Uh, and uh, once you have done that and placed your final lightning rod, uh, the... Hey, listen. Hope you have enjoyed the Temple of Time tutorial series. This was, this was a long time in coming, so I hope you really enjoy the building and get a lot of use out of it. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.